Hello there, welcome back to the Single Malt Review. I'm Dave, Tim is sitting this one out for reasons that will become apparent in due course. What we're looking at today is a Fireball Cinnamon Flavoured Whiskey. Now this is whiskey with a Y, not an EY. It is in fact a Canadian product produced by Sazerac of Canada, who own Buffalo Trace, the formidable bourbon distiller down in the USA, but they also own Canadian Club and various other Canadian uh, distillers too. It is a liqueur rather than whiskey, and for reasons largely unknown, cinnamon flavoured whiskey liqueurs have really taken off. You could say exploded in the last few years. They're everywhere, seems everyone wants to try some of that. And um, I've found a bit of a mixed blessing, but I thought I'd give one a go. The reason I'm doing this and not Tim is it turns out Tim is allergic to the most common artificial cinnamon flavours. And if there's one thing that these cinnamon flavoured whiskies have, in common, it is the artificial cinnamon flavour. I'm pretty sure there's not a lot of real cinnamon in here, but let's see what we actually have got here. Hmm, on the nose, lots and lots of artificial cinnamon aroma. As the label proudly tells you, this aims to be a hot and spicy kind of a liqueur. It's not meant to be a deep and cerebral um, whiskey experience or anything like that. Looks like a whiskey, bottled at 33% ABV. Sweet, confectionery kind of a nose. Ooh, and on the tongue, an immediate fiery explosion of completely synthetic cinnamon flavour. Actually, I'll just join in you in the nosing there, Dave, mm. because I can I can smell it without bodily harm. <laughs> oh, can confirm. That's aggressively awful. I'll leave that, <laughs> that entirely to you. But mm. Proceed, proceed. Yeah. Oh. As a comparison, I have here a quill of actual cinnamon bark. It is a lovely, very mild, very subdued, subtle, spicy aroma. Perfect for cooking, for sweet, for savoury, for dessert, whatever you like. As a contrast, I have here a packet of hot tamales. Some American-made and very artificially flavoured, mostly corn syrup, cinnamon candies. They look like the Matrix's red pill. And they taste more or less identical to Fireball Cinnamon Whiskey. Mm. So, which brings me to a point. Why would you? There are much better ways to enjoy cinnamon. There are much better ways to enjoy whiskey. So I'm not 100% certain of the appeal of this. I guess it's similar to, say, chili-infused vodka. It's a good kind of a slightly juvenile sort of a challenge, look how hard I am, I can drink this really hot spicy thing. Or else you could mix it into other things, make some interesting flavoured cocktails. Maybe you just really do enjoy that spicy kick on its own. If you do like it, that's fantastic. I'm genuinely pleased to each of their own. But I would say, if you're looking for Canadian whiskey you're going to enjoy, try a, you know, pure Canadian whiskey. There are very good whiskies out there. If you want something with lots of cinnamon, go for a recipe which uses cinnamon, actual real life cinnamon in its natural form. Why go for this artificial medium ground which doesn't really succeed as a whiskey and certainly doesn't succeed as something that tastes of cinnamon. The artificial cinnamon awfulness, it's as close to real cinnamon as chicken flavored potato chips are to actual roast chicken. It's something we consider in our minds to be cinnamon flavored because well that's the association we have. It doesn't taste anything like the real product. I'm not going to give this one a score because it's a liqueur, it's so out there, it's so odd for whiskey track, I can't do it justice with a sensible score. It's not my kind of a thing. It's a fun, novel beverage, something a bit different. And yeah, I don't regret trying it. It's not a terrible experience, but it's not really the kind of thing I would normally go for on a drink. But it's a thing that's very much out there in abundance, so I'm glad to have tried it just to see what it's like. And hey, there's certainly a range. Thinks every other distiller is having a go at the cinnamon whiskey liqueur these days. So, if you like it, hey, let me know. If you've got any recommendations of other kinds which really do succeed, let me know too. Or of cocktail recipes, anything you like. Or if you had a bad experience with it, if you particularly hate it, I'd be keen to hear your opinions too. Just let me know what you think. And we'll get back to you with some new whiskey content here at the Single Malt Review very soon. For now, I've been Dave, and we'll see you next time. Cheers! You've been dead. <laughs> mm -hmm. You certainly have.